I'm standing up for once. <laughs> I feel like I can finally move. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time for my 2021 TBR. Okay, so basically this is my TBR. I want to read as many books of my physical TBR as I can. I have, I believe like 75 unread books on my shelf. That is too much, okay? If I want, I don't even have to buy books for two years and I would still be okay with physical books. But since I do really want to do like a proper 2021 TBR, I will go through some of the books on my shelf that I do really hope to finally read in 2021. We will probably see some books that have been in my previous yearly TBR videos, but that's just me. I never finished my TBR. What a surprise. The first one. It does kind of match my outfit with the orange. But yeah, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Still haven't read this one. It has been on my TBR forever. <laughs> I feel so bad that I still haven't read it. Or like, I kind of don't feel bad because look at this freaking brick. I have heard, I'm going to stand a little bit closer. I have heard that this one is actually quite easy to get through even though it is a literal brick. I'm intimidated as heck by this book. Hence why I still haven't picked it up. This is a high fancy book about a queen and a dragon. And that's all I know. I heard it's amazing. Let's see if I will finally read this in 2021. Okay, next up, I have two new books that I got for Christmas slash my birthday. The first one is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This is a cool dark academia. Why did I suddenly forget the name? <laughs> dark academia book. Don't really know what it's about besides the fact that it's about a school. And then next up we have The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin's. Again, don't really know what this book is about, but I heard it's amazing. It is fancy. I heard it's really good. So it's on my TBR because I'm always way too excited to be reading like new books that I just recently got. Hence these two. But the next one will be some books that have been on my shelf for a very long time. Let me know if you've read this one and let me know which one I should prioritize. Oh, yes. This one, Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I got this one last year for Christmas and I still haven't read it. This is a sci-fi series. Okay, so I believe that this is about like people being the last on earth or something and then there are huge spiders. It is about space and sci-fi right up my alley. Although if the spiders are true, don't really like that. Next up, we have Sean McQuire's Middle Game. Honestly, I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book. So this is about a man who has created these twins, Roger and Dodger. However, these twins are not really human or something. He kind of wants them to become gods, something like that. And, his, and the creator of these twins, Reed, he's not really their father, but he has sort of created them bit weird but i've heard nothing but amazing things about this book this one has also been on my shelf for over a year now i got it for christmas last year so i'm going so well with reading new books on my shelf not okay so the next one i really want to read in 2021 is a whole different one is a different type of book namely the picture of dorian gray but then the unabridged edition i heard about this book from one of my patrons charlie thank you so much for recommending me this charlie so this is the unabridged edition of the picture of dorian gray the picture of dorian gray is one of my favorite books my favorite classics definitely but also one of my favorite books it is a story about a very beautiful man named dorian gray and one of his best friends he draws a picture of him like a painting and dorian gray sees that painting and he suddenly realizes like I'm becoming older, however that painting will forever remain very young and beautiful like the way he is now. So then there is this sort of curse that makes the painting grow older, whereas Dorian Gray will remain young forever, but of course shit goes down and it's not going the way he planned it. It is such a brilliant story and I loved it so much and just so good. So if you are looking for a classic, highly recommend The Picture of Dorian Gray. But then I heard about the unabridged edition, which means that there is more in this book and that it is completely the book that Oscar Wilde intended to write and not, you know, a book that publishers may have edited. So I'm really excited to read this and actually, okay, like I kind of have to reread <laughs> The Picture of Dorian Gray first before rereading this, otherwise I don't really know if they like added things or if things are different because I have to be honest, I can't really remember too much about the details in the story. I read it like two years ago, I think. So definitely time for a reread, but then definitely want to reread this one as well. 
The last book I'm going to put on this tea. Oh my god. The last book I'm going to put on this TBR is this one, A Close and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. If you don't know, I think like two years ago I read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, the first book in the series by Becky Chambers, and I loved it so much. It is a sci-fi series that takes place in space. It is a very character-driven story. There are quite a few characters and it focuses a lot on the characters. The plot is a little less exciting than your usual sci-fi. However, the characters are just so brilliant that I was so into this book and I just absolutely loved it. But I just never really picked up the second one and I decided, you know what, I need to get my hands on the second one. So I put these actually on my wish list and then Michelle got it for me for Christmas. Thank you so much, Michelle. So this is the second book. And I believe that this book does follow the same characters, but like just a few of the characters that we meet in the first book. Really curious to find out if I'm going to like this one as much as the first one, but I'm so excited to hopefully read it this year. It is not too big, so like I should be able to do it. And I'm really excited to just read more sci-fi because sci-fi is one of my favorite genres. And this will hopefully be one of them. So again, thank you so much, Michelle, for gifting me this. Also, these covers are just so freaking beautiful. Let me show you the first one. Aren't these the most gorgeous things you've ever seen? I love them. So this is my 2021 TBR of just some of the books that I really, really hope to read. Maybe I should actually like write down my TBR for once because let me know if you're also that kind of person. If you're saying, oh, these are my goals for 2021 or these are the books I want to read in 2021 and then you never really write it down somewhere <laughs> and you don't take like the actual steps to accomplish those goals because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but I'm going to write these down in my Notion. I'm obsessed with Notion at the moment. Notion is one of the most amazing, just like planning programs on um, on your laptop and on your tablet and stuff. You can use it everywhere on your phone as well. I'm going to make a separate page for my 2021 TBR. And then at the end of the year, we will look back at it and see how many books I actually read. Let me know. I have asked you so many things already, but let me know in the comments some books that you really want to read in 2021. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Of course, you can follow me on my social media and on my Patreon as well. I always leave everything down below in the description. And last but not least, I really hope you have a very amazing day and I will hopefully see you in my next video, which will definitely be in 2021. So happy new year once you're seeing this. Oh my God, it's 2021. I'm really happy that 2020 is over. I hope that this year will be better. Pretty sure that it will be. And that's it. I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Whoa, did you hear my niece? <laughs> I'm getting old.